your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger. It is Vlogmas Day 5. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited just to be here another day, child. Uh, doesn't mean the struggle is over. Doesn't mean it's over. But how you choose to think about your problems and your struggles, that's what matters the most. Yeah, it's kind of jacked up. But what am I gonna, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do, boo? So I'm on my way to work. It's early. <laughs> I usually don't vlog on the way to work. But in my previous vlog, Vlogmas Day 4, you saw how Sydney was so stressed out. Her brain, it's whatever she said. And she's just stressed out with school. Bobby's stressed out with school. Everybody's stressed out. But, you know, we're not talking about certain people. No, we're not. Um, but I did get a little piece of paper that says So my friend got this for me <clears throat> So I plan to call today, but I'm not talking about anything joy keep your mouth shut because you know people be trying to comfort a sister if I don't follow through if I change my mind or whatever, but and there's a whole nother side that I'm under so much stress so much pressure that sometimes I really don't have the energy to deal with that other issue I mean my other issues are more pressing that I don't talk about <laughs> that I don't talk about anyway Sydney's so stressed out she sends me a text she's like can you get home at 6 30 at least by 6 30 because she wants to go to bible study but she's like i have so much to do mom i don't know what i'm gonna do blah blah blah. and i'm like sydney it's okay if you miss one bible study if you know you have all these exams coming up and you're so stressed out because i believe i think when she goes to bible study i, I don't know maybe she's gone two three hours that's two three hours of studying that she could be doing and she said, I just read her little text, which made me jump on here. <clears throat> she was like, no, mom, Bible study is one of the few, few things that'll get me through my week. So I don't want to miss Bible study. She says, it's my pick me up for the week. And I said, you know, I could understand that 110%. I get you. You know, sometimes we have to do what we can that's going to get us through the week. I'm sorry. I hate to say this. Some people go to the bottle. You know what I'm saying? Some people go to their medicinal. Whatever it is you use to get you through the week. Some people use that prayer. Some people go to church. Some people zone out with their music or their candles, their relaxation, the gym. Whatever it is that you use to get you through the week. <laughs> Safely. Legally. Um, I, I can understand her. Because sometimes I... Honestly, sometimes I have to use running as a therapy for me. And that's my therapy or I like my candles and just be in my quiet zone. But running really is my meditation. It then, you know, releases the happy endorphins and stuff. And I feel bad that I haven't um, done that in the last couple of days. So... I guess I'll be taking her to Bible study. If that's what's going to get her through the week. I don't know what's going to happen with her studies and grades and stuff. Maybe the guards and all the guards and stuff is going to help her get through that. And her prayers, okay? And open up that mind to take in all that information. Alright guys, I will check in with you later. What's up y'all? I'm in my classroom eating my lunch y'all. More Thanksgiving leftovers. What? There's a lot of leftovers. Mm. So, what I'm wearing today kind of got changed up a little bit. <laughs> I haven't been sleeping well, y'all. 
think the night before I was up, I woke up at two, I went to bed early, called myself going to bed early, woke up at two in the morning, just up, awake. And I was like, please, please, go back to sleep, go back to sleep, go back to sleep, close your eyes, close your eyes, really tired. It didn't work. Then here we go, last night, um, I felt as though I was gonna sleep through the night because my body needed to catch up from missing sleep the night before. <laughs> here I go, my eyes open at four in the morning. Was it four? Yep. <gasps> Please, go back to sleep, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. That didn't work either. So, here I go again. Hopefully, I will sleep through the night tonight. But I'm starting to wonder if it's the tea. I pour the tea in my little mug throughout the day. So, I make me a tea with no sugar. It um, has a lot of caffeine. Yes, I want the caffeine. Okay. I gave up coffee. That one's rough because I like, oh, it's just so good the way I make my coffee. Be good. So, anyway. I'm thinking that it could be the tea that I drink throughout the day. So I just keep filling it up. I fill this all the way up with ice and then I pour my tea throughout the day. So what had happened was, I can't really explain it to you guys. I, I can't. But they have a thing at school. I'm on my lunch break and um, they have a thing at this particular school. It's called AVID. I think they teach the kids study techniques and stuff. I, I can't break it down for you. But, and this is a, um, they're trying AVID out at this, at this location at the school. So then, um, everybody's wearing AVID shirts and I don't have one and I wasn't buying one because you when well, my nails is trying to fall off that means I don't got no money I don't got no money for a t-shirt either so I came in with my regular thinking I'm cute today right thinking I'm cute and I was like everybody all the teachers are wearing avid shirts I was like well I don't got no avid shirt I ain't got yes yes I went to the ghetto side okay then here comes my um my teacher that's right next door to me she was like I hooked you up. <laughs> I hooked you up here. Two shirts for you. Which one you want to put on? <laughs> so she gave me this one, which does not match what I'm wearing at all. And a gray one. It, it just doesn't match anything I'm wearing. But I was like, whatever. Let me just throw it on. But I guess it, they had it in a medicine. I smell like medicine. It was It's clean. It just smells like medicine. I need to keep me a body spray here at, at school. So that's why I'm wearing this. And I have my little jogger, silk joggers on, rayon, nylon, whatever you call it. And so I was cute, my little sneaky heels and stuff, okay? And then I go to try to work on my lesson, and the lesson is not complete. Somebody sent me the lesson, but there are no pictures attached with the lesson. I'm stressed out. I was like... I'm not stressing myself out on this. I will come up with another plan real quick. And honey, I came up with something else so quick. Um, kids are doing something in their textbooks and using guided reading notes that the other teacher and I typed up together. There you go. There you go. So, this is why I got this shirt on. You know, because this is not matching, honey. Okay. It is not matching. Let me see how much time I got left. Oh, Lord. Just 10 minutes. It feels like I just sat down. So, I have to eat and talk, y'all. I'm sorry. I know it's not my mukbang channel, which I have totally neglected. Come on, girl. Hey. I bought you a slice of sweet potato pie. You did? See, this is my bestie at work. Hey, yes. How y'all doing? Y'all see me we on our lunch break, okay? Okay. <laughs> Trying to get the stuff done. Uh, Y'all doing all right out there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, she keeps me grounded. Aww. I'm like, well, what are we doing today? <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised she has to figure it out. <laughs> but she's been very patient. Aww. Ooh. I enjoy you. I don't know woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. You sound I, like I a Martin. Pie. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you did, though? You, you really you, brought me pie? 
a slice of pe- oh, sweet yes, potato I'm pie. I'm so excited. She was like, but then you I'm in my treat. Then I'm in my treat. So let me, let me go get the Kleenex so the kids are going through my Kleenex. They're tearing through my Kleenex. Oh, no, I'll be getting a roll of toilet paper from the bathroom. I need to do that. But mm, I just, the little my little heart goes out to them, you know. Toilet, the paper, me. toilet paper works just the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But well, mm-hmm. let me go get it. The I, little extra I rolls. I bought them some more. I literally went to the Walmart and went and picked up some more for mm-hmm. it. Honey, you better get those extra rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> One boy sneezed all his shirt. I was dead. I was, oh, ah! Oh, ah! Oh, that is I was like, you need tissue. He was, he had, but he did it in his shirt. And it was a <laughs> line. Called. I was dead. I done disinfected my whole. That is, that's something. Bless his heart. Ooh. I literally screamed. I you the kids laugh. I bet they were rolling. No, nobody oh, laughed. That's respectful. That's sweet. But they got you. Was he following your personal? Yeah, he was sitting oh, no, here. My... He was like, that's kind of close. Oh, I was. Ooh, ooh. Let me get this Kleenex because you know we're, our, we got about five minutes. I know. Nice. When you want your pot, you want your pot. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it for uh, like around six period. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> But honey, that bo- oh, how much time I got? Left? Oh Lord, I got six minutes. It's not enough time. We only get thirty minutes, and then it took about five minutes for me to heat up my food. And then after this, I need to go to the restroom. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, back to the avid. I don't know. I'm all over the place. Just stay with me, okay? Stay with the sister. So here comes the AP. You know, peeks his head in my room. Um, Miss Basil. Do you mind if one of the avid people come and look at your room on an alternative CD? I was like, no, come on in. Come on in, sugar. How you doing? How you doing? Look around. Look around. Take it all in. And her mouth was just open the whole time. She was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Even with me taking half the wall, that's another video taking half my wall down in the back. Um, she did, I mean, she wouldn't know that it was full wall. She was like, this is unbelievable, unbelievable. And then after the kids left, um, she came in with her, her video, with her phone, and she did a video of the room and the seats and so on and so forth. But she doesn't realize the chairs, I painted and designed the chairs and all the artwork. So there's another layer to the room that she she would never know unless we had a conversation. But she came and she hung out for a little while. Wasn't She wasn't here for the lesson. She was blown away by the room. And I also wanna thank you guys for helping me with the, with the balls and stuff. Still need a few more balls. Um, So, you know, well, that's all I got for you. I'm going to wolf down these last two bites like a maniac, and y'all don't want to see that, okay? Oh, God. I'm, oh, God. It's four minutes. Four minutes to go before they come. Lord Jesus. I hear them in the hall. I can hear them in the hallway. This is what teachers go through. I gotta go. Well, it is the end of the day. I am so tired. Those two nights of a lack of sleep is really catching up. And my drive home is going to be very hard. It is almost 4.50 and I have to take Sydney to church for 6.30. But it's going to be tough because I'm feeling it right now. And that hour drive, hopefully traffic died down. If there's traffic, it'll take me almost an hour and a half to get home. And sometimes I don't mind to drive because I listen to my audio book. And, but I'm feeling it, y'all. But thankfully, my amazing subscriber, look, I got these things everywhere. <laughs> she sent me some sunflower seeds. And these are not bad. They're not spicy at all. So she sent these. And um, I have some in my car. I have some in my classroom. I have some at home. 
and I will definitely need these on my drive home. If you are on the road and you're sleepy and you're trying to stay awake, someone, a subscriber, I think last year, someone, because I was really driving far one year, I don't know, and the sunflower seeds, they really, really um, do a good job in keeping you a little more alert on the road. So I got my sunflower seeds on deck. Um, turned off my lights and stuff. And I'm going to get home. I took my little shirt off. So this is what I was wearing today. I don't know what you can see. <laughs> Wait. Got my little mirror right here. So I don't know what you can see. So I just threw this blazer on. And these little rayon nylon joggers and my little sneaker heels. So this was how... I was feeling today and my little sneaky heels man I haven't I haven't gone sh shopping in so long I don't even know what it feels like to go on a shopping spree <laughs> have no idea <laughs> you know there are some women that experience life where they've been spoiled Never have to worry about money, shopping sprees, you know, order the top of the line at dinner. I can officially say, in all my long years, I have never been spoiled like that in my life. Ever. So hopefully, I'll be able to do it for myself. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the other thing I want to tell y'all. You know, I'll be going off on tangents. Just stay with me. Stay with me, okay? So anyway, um, it's weird. <laughs> Somebody keeps leaving me little, little things and I just keep putting them up here. What do they say? They just said, um, we love, we love Miss Basil. And these are different days than this one was today. It's hard to see that one. It's just a heart with Miss Basil. <laughs> And someone uh, made this one for me. And someone made this for me. Alright guys, let me get out of here. Um, take Cindy to church. I might do a mukbang with Bobby. But I am so tired. It, I'm so tired. It's, uh, I don't even know if I'll have energy to eat. Although I did eat my lunch, so I'm not that hungry. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes, but I will be sure to check it. Oh, and I'm supposed to put up the other tree. Let's see if Clint's available. But you know, I'm not asking nobody. Not asking anybody. No. Because, you know, I get in my feelings. I get in my feelings. I'm not doing that today. I'm not doing that today, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Later. What's up, Bass Babes? I just made it back home. And I'm tired. I made it home, stuck in traffic, because when I leave school, kind of on the early side, all I do is sit in traffic. So it probably took me 6.30, 5.36, maybe an hour and a half to get home. And I had to run in and go to the bathroom, then run back out, get Sydney to church. Then for church, I just wanted to come home and go to bed. <laughs> I was like, Joy, you got to get bread. You got to get bread. Just come on. You can do it. You can do it. So then I ran to Walmart, picked up, what is it, bread, butter, bread and butter and something else, some eggs, because the, the kids like to make eggs in the morning. And now I'm back home, and it's sometimes coming home puts me in a bad mood, but you know I'm not going to be talking about that, right? I'm not talking about that. So anyway, I'm going to try to must up this energy to make me something to eat. I don't think no tree going to get put up. And it's not that late. It's actually not that late. I'm just tired. And I still have to edit Vlogmas videos. And he's like, I just want to get off my feet. I still need to prepare my lesson for tomorrow. So I'm going to try in my head. I'm going to get up and go to, you know, do my run and get to school early. That's in my head, okay? <laughs> so, I don't know, but I'm going to go downstairs and make something to eat and try to do a mukbang really quick. 
I wanted to make some be love sauce, child. I don't, I don't, I don't have the energy. I don't have the energy. So, oof. I'm just gonna whip something up really quick. We have some turkey legs in the oven. I told Sydney what to do and how to prepare those. They should be just about done. So I'm gonna make a small thing of macaroni and cheese to go with it and sit down. Ooh, some cornbread sounds good. Damn, we don't got no milk. We got carnation milk. And you don't need a lot of milk for cornbread, but I haven't had cornbread in a long time. That does sound good. Ooh. I noticed Clinton took stuffing out of the freezer because I started to freeze stuff. So I don't know. Let's go downstairs, sis. I must up this energy. I got this. I got this. Child. I'm I look, I made a personal commitment <laughs> to vlog miss, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do. I think I saw a little Christmas hat downstairs or something. It was a headband. Maybe I could pull that out. Tie it all together. Yes. Yes. All right. What's up, Azo Babe? What are you that <laughs> for? <laughs> What's up, Azo Babes? It's me and Joy here in the kitchen. I'll be looking to keep out now, don't. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what she making up in here, but she making some pasta. She probably making some mac and cheese. <laughs> What's up with you? You like my skirt? What's up with you now? Oh, we're not talking about that on camera. What do you mean, what's up with me? You showing my skirt? Mm-hmm. Guys, do you know what this is? <laughs> A table mat? Or the tree thing? Guys, this is... This is a tree skirt. <laughs> My daughters used to put on the tree skirts when they were little girls and walk around with the little skirts. So I thought I would do it this year. So I'm just making a little bit of mac and cheese for my mukbang. The mac and cheese in this house went real quick, honey. So usually for mac and cheese, I make a cheese sauce, but I do not feel like doing that today. So everything is just going in one pot. That's how my mama used to make it. Y'all like my little hat? My little Christmas hat? I think it's a little drum. What does it look like, y'all? I think it's a little drum. My skirt is just too cute. It's too cute. See, that's what you do. You don't have a skirt to wear? Just wear a tree skirt. Better believe me. So, as I was digging out this hat, Okay, I was thinking out this hat and digging out my cute little skirt. I saw this little thing in with my Christmas stuff. <laughs> and there is a story behind this. Yes, actually it is lingerie, honey. It is lingerie. I used to run a 5K every other month. So I would run them consistently. So I was always training for 5Ks. I never really wanted to run anything longer because I had things to do, places to go, people to see. So I didn't, I was look, I did my little three point something miles and I was good. Let me drain this. When you make your macaroni, child, you want your macaroni to be al dente. Al dente. You don't want it mushy. Now, if you're not going to put it in the oven, you want it cooked just perfectly. So when you eat it, it's perfect. But if you put it in the oven for a little while, you want al dente. Because it's going to cook a little more when you put it in the oven. So, I am not making a cheese sauce. I'm just throwing everything in one pot. That's how my mama used to. Okay. So, I have the mac and cheese in the oven. Here are our turkey legs. I hope they are tender. They've been cooking for about four hours. So I'll, I'm about to see, but I don't know. I'm just in a mood for some cornbread. 
Y'all, I won't need to run in the morning. <laughs> so, let's see, do we have any cornbread? I grew up with Jiffy Child. What? It be good, you gotta, you gotta add a little pinch of sugar. Ooh, I don't even know if we have sugar left. Oh yeah, we do. You gotta add a little pinch of sugar to your um cornbread, okay? So let me make this real quick. Who's the one? Calm down. Our tree. It's tall. We have some. Look, this is the tree. It goes up and up. So it's <laughs> it's tall. And the other tree, I want to put the other tree up there. I don't know y'all. Oh, and then we have our little display. Here. And this, the chalk rubbed off. It says only in Basil's world. So. And these are chair covers I had made a couple of years, two years ago. And you put them on your chair, like so. I wish she had um, put them a little lower, but I love them, and I think I had the lady make six of them. I just thought they were so adorable, and honey, I think I got those at Dollar Tree. I think I paid more for her to put the stuff on the little chair covers than I did to pay for them. Mm-hmm. But I got those from Dollar Tree. I sure did. I sure did. Um, and I think it was my first Christmas um, that I did Vlogmas. Yes. Let's go see what Bobby is doing. Oh, God. You know, it's almost 9 o'clock. You know, y'all see I'm cooking. Here comes that text. Nine. Bobby! Look at Bobby playing her music. Got her little candle all lit. Now, Bobby, you do know. Oh, oh, you gotta turn that music off, girl. You two be ready. Get us, girl. That's what you listening to, hard play? This is what Bobby listening to. Okay. So Bobby. Yes. How's your dad at school? Now Cindy is saying I need to go get her. Um, now Cindy is saying I need to go get her. I made some macaroni and cheese, Bobby. Oh, did you eat the turkey legs? I'm about to mukbang. Oh, really? So, Bobby, how was your day at school? Um, you want to take your scarf off, Bobby? That's fine. Today, we didn't really do much today, honestly. Because we're just kind of finishing up all of our units because we have midterms coming up next week the week after next week so we're just kind of finishing up units and i had to figure out a bunch of stuff today because i'm not going to be at school tomorrow or friday so i have to make sure i have all my stuff uh covered. why are you missing school bobby a basketball tournament where where klein Kane. oh well let me know how that goes <laughs> you have a it's ride back home like the old neighborhood 
Oh, you have a ride back home? Well, I have a ride back to the school. Yeah, I have a ride back home from the school. Because um, there's something I would like to do. Bobby, do you remember you and Sydney used to wear the um, tree skirts? Yes. Do you remember that? Yeah. Child. It was a look, too. Huh? It was a look. It was a look. Now, guess who's rocking the look? <laughs> All right, let me go check the macaroni and the cornbread. Are you eating? Are you mukbang? Are you mukbanging? Probably not. I'm not mukbang hungry. I mean, I'll have some, but I'm not mukbang hungry. Yeah, neither am I. But a few bites to visit the channel. Nah, I figured. I'm hungry, but not like hungry hungry well I'm about to make my plate and close out this vlog for vlogmas you like my outfit yeah it's cute I like your hat yeah thank you I have another one if you like to join me some days but you know no pressure no pressure at all Bobby there's absolutely no pressure oh okay okay so hey y'all your bed just not made, but this skirt is everything. It's not very flattering. No, it's, not. <laughs> it's not flattering. How did you keep it oh God, this is making me look like a tree trunk. <laughs> now that's kind of cute. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Let me get out of here. Go back downstairs and see what she's talking about. <sighs> yes? Okay. See, she wants me to turn the camera off. I do respect the privacy, okay? I'll let y'all know what she says later. I'll be back. Everything looking. How's everything looking here? Okay. The macaroni's bubbling. It's bubbling. The cornbread is looking good. It's catching up. All right. So I think the macaroni is ready to come on out. That look good. I think it's ready to come on out because it, it, it was it was it was close to done. So I want to make it play. I want you guys to see how I put this together before I sit down and eat, so it could cool down. I think I may have to go get Sydney. Okay, great. She got a ride home. Great. Great. Let's do great again. Great. Okay, so I'm going to take the macaroni out and let it cool down, let it settle. And then I should be ready to eat. I'm going to set up my little area. I, you know what I have to do? I have to take out my lights again. Because remember I told you, I really, really quit YouTube. I wasn't playing, I wasn't playing. So I gotta pull my lights back out and put them back together. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right, let me get the lights out so I can put them back together so I can sit down and eat. This will not be, let's see how much this person can eat like a glutton this will not be that type of mukbang i want to eat till i'm comfortable so i can get upstairs get comfy and start the editing so you guys can have a video tomorrow and cheese yay I'm so excited and my little bit of cornbread so I'm going to dig in thank you so much for hanging out with me for vlogmas now it's time to eat this for my other channel <laughs> see kill two birds with one stone honey yes 
All right, guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit your post notifications and look out for your girl and share the channel. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, until next time. Later. Can y'all see my hats?